Good morning, CG. I'm Dylan. And I'm Genevieve. And we have your CG TV broadcast for Friday, February 24th. Center Grove has partnered with the Imagination Library to provide books to children in our district. To support the effort, the corporation is creating a district-wide fundraiser. Here's the information for you. Hey CG, I'm Mrs. Cousineau and I'm excited to announce a fundraiser we'll be participating in on Friday, March 3rd during Read Across America Week for the Imagination Library Foundation of Johnson County. If you've never heard of Imagination Library, let me explain what it is. It's a foundation started by the legendary Dolly Parton to help children ages birth through five prepare for kindergarten by receiving free books in the mail. We're so excited to announce that for the first time ever, the entire Center Grove District met the qualifications to participate in this program. Our goal for this fundraiser is to help offset the cost that Johnson County is covering by hosting a friendly little one-day donation competition. Here's how it's going to work. On Friday, March 3rd, we ask all students and staff to bring in just $1 at least to your star period, where it will be collected. The star class that has the highest dollar amount donated will earn a pizza party provided by the school the following Friday. Teachers, we invite you to wear comfy jeans that day in exchange for your donation. The winning star class will be announced during morning announcements on Monday, March 6th. We hope that everyone is able to participate for such a great cause, but I want to especially challenge our senior class. Think of it as a passing of the baton to the newest incoming class of Center Grove, just as you get ready to depart. Reminders will run all week on the announcements, and we'll send out one last reminder on the waiver day next Thursday, since most students won't be in the building. Again, we want to thank you in advance for your donations and support of this wonderful foundation. Have a great weekend, CG. Many students have volunteered at Blessings in a Backpack. Carly Barlow caught up with several of the volunteers to bring you the story. Blessings in a Backpack is a program housed in the Center Grove Care Food Pantry that organizes bags of food for students in CG schools who may not have much access to food at home. Volunteers put together bags for about 500 students each week. Teams and student organizations often volunteer for Blessings in a Backpack together. Evelyn Ridlin has volunteered with the cross country team. It's important to volunteer because it helps you be part of something bigger than yourself and you can help out with people that are really close to you. Some students, like Ava Katona, volunteer individually nearly every week. She says volunteering has made her more compassionate. The program has affected me because it's made me realize that even though I'm only one person, I can make an impact in the lives of a lot of people through my actions. The Blessings program often needs volunteers. Others can get involved by volunteering in our community and also they can come to the care pantry at 4.30 on Thursdays. One issue facing the program is the upcoming demolition of the old Maple Grove building that houses the care food pantry. Volunteer coordinator Chris Hickey said the program will continue though she isn't sure where. She said they were working with administration to find a spot on campus and it would likely open at the start of the new school year in the fall. Um, it's important to me that we keep the care pantry here because it's it's easily accessible by people who can't drive so they can, they can walk over there and it's really important to people in the community who are, who are in need. For more information, check out Blessings in a Backpack on the Center Grove website. Thanks, Carly. Last weekend, the wrestling team headed down to Gainbridge Fieldhouse where 12 wrestlers competed for a state title. After Friday night's opening round, eight wrestlers qualified for sat Saturday's medal rounds. At the end of the night, Charlie LaRocca was crowned state champion. Hyatt Yeager, Kaden McConnell, Wyatt Krejcia, and Reese Courtney finished as state runners-up, while three other wrestlers, Eddie Goss, Jillian Weems, and Andre Merritt also earned medals. The team finished its highest ever in the state, ending their season with a state runner-up finish. For the full highlight video of last weekend's wrestling state finals, check out Trojanier Sports on Instagram. Last weekend, dancers competed in the state solo and ensemble competition, where Emily Rich won a state title and several other dancers scored for their individual and small ensemble routines. This weekend, the dance team competes in their regional competition. Emma Watson has the story. While many students at CG recognize our Center Grove dance team from the football end zone, competitive dance reaches beyond the football field and last year round. Competitive dance is kind of like the dance you're probably used to seeing on the sidelines, but we add some skills into it. So there will be more tricks like aerials, head springs, hip ups, and also turns and second pirouettes and stuff like that that we couldn't do on the field. So it's just more skill based than sideline dance. Uh, competitive dance, we basically bring a lot more skill and different styles. So for game day, we do more 
pom and like just hyping up the crowd instead of for competitions we do more hip hop, we do kick, jazz, we do some solos and ensembles which is mainly like pretty lyrical dances. It's just a lot more style. Competitions take place many weekends in the winter season, lasting most of the day and requiring a lot of dedication from the performers. So we wake up super early in the morning and we get there and we have time to stretch and warm up and we go and we compete in front of judges in ba basketball, gyms, whatever. And um, we do our dances and we get feedback and scores and placements. While competitions are difficult, the dance team season is more than halfway done and they have began strategizing for their final performances. Competition season is going really great so far. We're over halfway done. We're heading into our postseason right now, preparing for our team regionals, nationals, and state. Uh, we've been in the high places at every contest and even just had a couple top five in the state and a state soloist who won a champion this past weekend. Uh, we're preparing for what's coming up by taking care of our bodies, just making sure that we're getting good rest and uh, building strength and stamina, and then also practicing like we normally do, just really cleaning our dances, focusing on getting them perfect and ready to go. While the competitions are long, each member has a reason they love to perform. Uh, my favorite part is definitely being able to show off my new skills and stuff that we can't do on the turf and on the court, and it's just fun to get critiques and feedback that we haven't heard and do more styles. My favorite part of competitive dance is the competing aspect. I like that you, we get to show off our skills and be athletic and more um, aggressive, I guess, than you would on the sidelines. On the sidelines, you're just trying to show having fun, but competitive dance, you're displaying your skills and hard work. Uh, my favorite thing about coaching the team is just getting to know students on a personal level. There's only so much you can know about kids in the classroom, uh, but when you get them into practice, you just get to know their personalities more and just get to know them on that personal level better. As the season comes to a close, the dance team is preparing for some of their biggest competitions, starting with team regionals this weekend at Lake Central High School. Thanks, Emma. To hear more about what CG students are up to this week, check out the Church Near, Center Grove Student News website. This week, we have a story about Chin National Day, a feature over an aspiring young actor, and a look at, at the Programming Club, one of our newest extracurriculars. Lead all these stories and more at Trojanier.com. That's all we have for you today, CG. Bye! Bye.